Can the Huacha kill the chicken shitter? He killed the chicken shitter! What the shit? He, he's alive! Come on. Oh no, the chickens get the fucking chickens! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. We are going through the campaign with the new units. That is the goal here. Oh, come on. Slap that little shit. Well done. Look at that. We didn't lose anybody? Well, hell yeah. We've learned a lot of lessons. We've played the campaign maybe three times through um, on the various updates, but we haven't since we've gotten the Huacha. And that just seems like a travesty. So, I don't exactly... And I know that archers are good now, so I feel like the whole fabric of the game, everything that we know has been changed. And as a result... We need to redo this. Let's put in a shieldman right here. All right, what are we fighting? Oh yeah, the three giant lines of men. So these archers are gonna have to kill so many people. Is our shield, our shieldman's already dead. I don't think we're gonna be able to do this. Our archers have pretty decent fire rate. You gotta really start hitting these farmers. Oh, oh, it's close. We probably need some better melee heroes to save the day because these archers, did okay. They did all right. Maybe. Hmm. How to kill them? Let's mix it up a bit. Musket and archerman. Actually, you know what? Let's put the archers further back. And then maybe like, ooh, shieldmen on the flanks. And then what do we want in the middle? Fighting barbarians. We got 155 money left. So we'll have some delayed footmen coming up. And then what is this guy again? Oh, let's make him a barbarian. Delayed barbarian. It's all about the delays. And by delays, I mean he's still going to outrun the boxers. Oh, he didn't do a whole lot. But I, I'm, I'm betting our archers are going to do the work. Look at this. We're, we're keeping them alive. We've got units still alive. One shieldman, and well, make that one boxer. Two, yeah, the shield, oh shit! The shieldman is dodging friendly arrow fire. All right. See, we just, there's just so much. You know, the unit changes, like poachers can't beat the campaign now. All right, level three, if I remember correctly, is those poachers. And now they definitely, that's a footman. We want a shieldman up here against and then I think two boxers and then we've got this unit of boxers coming this way so what kills boxers farmers do I thought right do we even know the rock paper scissors mechanics do we even know this game we're gonna have one archer in here because I feel like we gotta have an archer because I think archers and chariots are really the best units in this in this version of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Oh, did you just snipe someone with an arrow to the head? I sure hope you did, mate. All right, Archer, turn your attention over there. I hope the shieldman survives. Oh, accurate sniper fire. Poachers really suck now. Look at that arrow fire from the Archer. He's, he's knocking all these guys out. Now our infantry are here. And look at that guy, totally wrecked. All right, only one left. Oh, did he, I think he got stabbed, but there was an arrow incoming. Look at that. We, we're taking far less casualties now. Level four. Um, you know, we're going to bring in the Huacha. I don't know what we're fighting, but and we're going to chariot it up a bit. And then let's do some archers, yes? Well, that's about it for that. And then a footman. And this should be adequate. Oh, yeah. Huacha is going to be really good right here. Oh, it kept him in the area. The chariot kept him in the area. Hawachas. The new unit plus chariots. Look at this. And now the this... Oh, shit. Oh, look at that. He's got two rocket arrows in his head right here. But he don't give a shit. Chariots are so good. This footman... Uh, I think he killed two. That's, that's not too bad. Oh, my God. Please, chariot. Oh, <gasps> he almost killed them all. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No. Shoot. Oh, that was the last one. Why? Hawacha was good. We're going to do that one again. Um, <laughs> Hawacha. 
chariot. And then archers. We're gonna spread them out because we lost one to friendly fire there. That was the critical loss. And we're gonna put the footmen, where are you footmen? A little further up. All right, chariot, do your thing. Oh, that was that was pretty good. Hawacha did some work. Oh, we killed our own footman. <laughs> Look at the chariot. Oh shit, you guys need to focus. Yes, yes, we're gonna win this one. So look at that, man. We only we've only lost one level so far. There's one footman left, and this chariot is gonna kill him right here. Boom! I still think chariots. <laughs> look at that. Oh, you gotta love chariots. I still think chariots should have blades on the side of them. That would be so cool. Okay. Hoacha. 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 And chariot. And then we've got enough for... We'll throw in some peasants. Why not? Oh, we had, we had more money. Oh shit, I forgot we had shields. I don't remember the levels, but I think... <gasps> and then all the shieldmen get up, dude. They're like sneaky little bastards, man. Our, we definitely lost this one. Our peasant army here is literally just lost three men in one, like, shield swipe. Okay, so since we're fighting shieldmen, what beats shieldmen? Now that we're veterans of the war, the musketmen, ladies and gentlemen, we will have a crap ton of muskets in the back. You know what else does work? Cannons. Cannons are fantastic. And arguably my favorite unit in this game. Just because of the physics amazingness that happens. Uh, where are you, muskets? And then I'm gonna do... I love the chariots. I really think that's the best unit in the game at this point. And then let's have... Uh, let's have some footmen. Yeah, yeah, that's smart. Let's put footmen in front of... Yeah, I want these guys up far ahead. Always spend all the money. There's no reason not to. Chariot! Ooh, cannon. Alright, so the, look at the muskets firing. The cannon's going. The chariot is still going. This cannon, man. MVP. So we gotta figure out what is the best unit in the game. Look how survivable these chariots are nowadays. Oh! Hey! There's a shield in the air. There's only two units left. Watch him get shot down. And our footmen survived long enough to kill a spearman. So what do we have to fight here at level six? I'm gonna put two cannons and then some muskets. And then a peasant. Oh shit, a giant shield wall, we should be fine. Oh, plus their spacing was a little off. <laughs> oh, that shield better not kill that cannon. I've seen it happen before, okay. We need less cannons and more muskets if we lose this. Which we could. Oh, we lost both of our cannons. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? That guy just did like a, well, barrel roll? A barrel roll? Hmm, okay, so what were they? I forgot, they're shieldmen. Chariot, instead of, and then we'll keep the cannon. Because I love cannons. We'll put him centrally located. And then we'll have muskets. Oh, hey, sir, get back in line. All right, now 60, what do we want? What do we want? We want... Peasants. Peasants have their uses as distractors. Chariot! Ooh, that chariot just plowed right through there. Okay, it just died right there. The peasants are... Are you slowing them down enough? What is this musket man doing in advanced position? He's getting shot in the back of his head. Oh, the physics! Guys! No! <laughs> Shit! These muskets better not kill my cannon. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, alright. So muskets aren't the best thing. We, we want less muskets. Let's do... Alright, so we went for this. I'm not sure... These footmen are really doing really good work against me. Oh, this chariot just was MVP status right there. <laughs> 
Look at that! He got shot back and that shieldman actually stopped him. Okay, so I don't think we have enough musketmen to con- Well, the cannon. The cannon's really gonna have to do this. And he's not. Oh, he got so close to killing a few. That boxer just killed a footman! Hell yes! Hell yes, and he's alive distracting them. This is how we win. A really, really honorable boxer. Oh, come on, cannon, you were so close. All right, so there's four of them. They're charging this line. We've got five units. Now they got three. The cannon is really shitting his pants. Oh, come on, cannon. Do -do 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 yes, now we've got one shieldman. Good job, cannon, you did really well. Oh, and we didn't even kill that guy. Nice. All right, moving on to level seven. We're gonna pull in the Hawacha. I'm gonna do a, a chariot again, and then we got 500. Let's put in some footmen this time. That seems, that seems adequate. What do we got? Oh shit, two cannons. Well, if the chariot does okay. Oh my god. The chariot, <laughs> the chariot is winning us the campaign. He's killed everybody. Well, um, oh, oh, wow. Cannon of the dome. Come on, you gotta kill it this time. What the shit? See if it had a blade on it, it would have worked. Okay, so... Oh shit. I think we're gonna lose this one. Oh! He's got two units to kill. Oh, he got dismembered right there. Okay. Um, so the Hawacha wasn't the best for this. We'll keep a cannon and... Cha Actually, you know what? Let's do three chariots. And then we got 250 left. So let's do that. Let's just do melee. Oh, crew member gone. Three chariots. Absolutely wrecked that line. The cannons killed each other. The cannons killed each other. Oh, okay. We've got, we've got uh, one chariot left. And we've got a bunch of footmen. As long as he can distract those archers. Holy shit. Oh, it's working. These guys are all stuck in the freaking thing. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Get out. And run! <laughs> yes! There's only one left. Dun, 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 dun. That guy took an arrow to the stomach. Oh, that chariot just died. No, he didn't. He's still alive. Level 8, 2000. Can the chariot win? Of course it can. Our chariot cavalry is superior. And let's do... Let's throw in some poachers. And two boxers on the flanks. Oh. Make that two peasants. What are we fighting? Oh shit, they have chariots. Oh, I forgot all about this level. Oh! Oh no. Oh! Yes! Oh, the physics, where are you going? I don't even care if we lose this one. That was, that set a new record, I think, for airtime. Alright, well, I'm red. It's hard to tell, because we've lost some bodies in here. It's literally a chariot cluster fucking that one peasant. I can't tell who's gonna win, but I hope this peasant survives long enough okay so that's their chariot <gasps> oh he survived now he's got a wreck he's got a wreck oh shit oh shit MVP right here mr. peasant and he's dead <laughs> he can't die he can't die Th this thing needs to crash come on crash oh come on it hit the dead body and smacked our dude okay so they've got chariots what's the best thing to kill chariots with muskets um, but we're gonna have to put a chariot over here. Muskets usually do pretty good. Because they can hit the base and, and, like, have it fly all around. Spearmen also are pretty good at stopping chariots when in mass. When they're in, like, a really good formation. Mother shit. <laughs> it's a lot, uh, and you know what, maybe cannons? Not as much, so maybe a few more muskets. And then we'll have a few peasants, because those were the guys that, like, stayed alive. Definitely peasants. Because chariots will eventually, like, kill themselves, right? Alright, let's see if this works. Do they chase the other chariot? The chariot kind of disrupted it. Spears did not work. I repeat, the spears did not work. And these chariots are absolutely running amok. How do you kill all those chariots? Oh my god. We've got two guys left alive. Oh, shit! 
This musketman and this peasant. This musketman needs to be very, very accurate. Oh, come on! I don't know what's happening right there. Shoot! Yes! He got one! Okay, we're gonna win this one. I have a feeling. I don't exactly know what's happening. There's some... Ooh! Okay. He's got it. Not this one, but the next shot. He's gonna get the kill. Right? Alright. And... Fire! A what? That looked like it hit. Come on. He almost hit our guy. The circle jerk. The old jerk circle. Ugh, musket. If that was an archer, dude, he would have had it. Yes! Alright, so the chariots basically just fell apart because our one chariot clustered them all together. Now we got level 9. I don't remember what that is. But let's get a ballista, a hawacha, a cannon, and a chariot. Screw catapults, no one needs those. And then we will have an army of boxers. Oh my god, we have so many, we have so many dollars. Archers. And then one barbarian. Oh wait, that's right in front of the... Alright, let's see what we're fighting. Hawacha! Ooh, okay, this cannon's knocking out their siege equipment. Dude, this cannon's doing work. Shoot, yes! There's another ballista down. Okay, this ballista really has to... We've only got one archer. Okay, that... Yeah, I think we got it. We've got three archers left. Hell yeah! We're basically the best ever at this game. Alright, so now we've got, what's his name? The chicken shitter? We're gonna put a Hawacha way up there, because I want the Hawacha to get the kill on that thing. And then we're gonna put in two flanking chariots hopefully they don't kill the huacha and then what do we got oh yeah we need we need accurate distance shooters so we'll put in two muskets on the side then we'll wait what are these those are archers yeah and then 10 peasants all right ladies and gentlemen can the huacha kill the chicken shitter he killed the chicken shitter! What the shit? He, he's alive! Come on. Oh no, the chickens get the fucking chickens! Uh oh. This doesn't look good. Well, we've got enough peasants alive, but it's all. It all depends on the chickens. We've got. We need, like, musket balls to go through. Oh shit, here come the chickens again. Come on, guys, hurry up. Oh no! No! They're trying to track the chickens! How do, maybe more chariots, because the Hawacha surprisingly didn't. So we're gonna figure out what is the whoa. We're gonna figure out what is the best way to kill the chicken shitter. The shitter von chicken is the problem. So what if we did like three Hawachas here? <laughs> it's not gonna work. I know, because he got up. He got up, but you never know, right? That's a lot of arrows. We killed him! Hawachas did it! But now everyone else is alive. And these peasants are getting murked by swordsmen. By very trained, highly, highly skilled swordsmen. Well, that one did it. So maybe two Hawachas would be adequate to kill that thing. And we're going to put a chariot in here. And then what do we want? Maybe some shields. I think shields is what helped us win that first time. We're gonna put farmers in here. And one poacher. Because why not? All right, Hawatches, you gotta do it. It's up to you, Hawatches, to kill the chicken shitter. Yes! He's definitely dead. Okay, all the chickens are now down. Uh, it's gonna really come down to our chariot who killed most of our men as well as a decent one of theirs. So maybe the chariot 
isn't the best. But the two watches on the flanks definitely work. Who watcha? Or maybe a ballista. A little further out. We're gonna resort to uh, one archer. This guy is gonna be our Robin Hood. Robin of the Hood. Now this Hawacha needs to kill the chicken shitter. He's- oh shit, he's up. He's up. Ladies and gentlemen, the chicken shitter is alive. I repeat, our greatest nemesis is dead. But there are so many chickens left alive that that shieldman blocked a lot of them. Oh my god, this ballista needs to hit that giant formation or we're literally fucked. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, do it! Do it! No, that was terrible. Oh, <gasps> the one fucking chicken! Okay, two guys left. Oh no. Oh no! I don't know, I don't know. Oh no, he's alive? These two swordsmen are alive. I don't, I don't know how this guy's gonna hit him. Even though his head's like almost getting stabbed by the spear. Hmm. Now this is where if we had that one freaking archer, we would be fine. Oh, look at that. Uh, this is gonna be a problem. We, we might have a draw situation. Unless this spear can hit that one and then it flies and stabs them both in the back. Yeah, I'd, I'd say, I'd say this is a draw. So what did we do exactly? We had the Huacha that didn't kill the chicken shitter. You need two Huachas if you're gonna kill the chicken shitter right off the bat. And they're so expensive. All right, we went with watches, a few archers. All right, so it all, did we kill him? Did we successfully kill him? Yes, we did, and there's a few chickens alive, but we've got a lot of farmers this time. They're more or less distractions why these archers are going to be completely relied upon. Oh my God, there's some arrows in our boys. Yes, farmers are winning. The farmers are winning. Come on, archers. We've almost done it. But we did use the Hawacha, the new unit, to kill the ultimate enemy. The chicken shitter. Now, I cannot wait to, like... Come on, archers. Do it. Do it, gentlemen. Do it. How many? We're gonna... We might lose a few. The farmers did it. You beat the pre-alpha. Ladies and gentlemen, Hawacha vs. Chicken Chitter, Chariots vs. Chicken Chitter, we tried it all. I cannot wait to get my hands on some new units. Please, Landfall Games, give us the glory. But did you check out the Steam? Uh, the Steam page. Steam actually has a page for Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. I'm gonna put the link in the video description below. Go check it out. Let me know what we should try next. I'm letting you guys still vote on um, yesterday's battle, the Battle of Endor, for like custom formations, but you can leave them in the comments below. Up like when you see something that you think would be really cool. That is a huge part of the voting process, so I hope you guys take part in that. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baron. Thank you so much for watching, man, I'm out of breath. And I will see you in the next one.